destroy the computers tomorrow. Okay? Oh, it's the door, is that No. Okay. Hello? Anybody got a mic?
Well, Teresa's trick is to simmer the chicken in chilies and cilantro and top it with avocado, cabbage, radishes, and more cilantro. Hey, we ain't leave you, bro. You, uh, you wasn't on there when we went into the show. This is only the second time I've ever had pozole. Okay. And the first time was this little tiny Mexican place in Chicago. And the lady who was making it... I mean, she had to be pushing 100 years old. Storm about to eat us up. Good, if not better. How did you start cooking Mexican well, 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 food? Well, 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 just always cooked me. It's what? practice. It's trying to do something <laughs> nice for your community. You who you're cooking for. I see and they can get healthy and wonderful and delicious for them. Tree. Yeah. And this is actually one of my that would be wow, Teresa's cumin stewed it. black beans served up with wow, fried wow, sweet plantains, wow, wow, Mexican wow. crema, and pickled onions. Daddy, can you go right there? That's great. There's a certain uh, nuttiness to about it. I'm so bored. You know, there's a wine that you're doing yeah. you know, every day. Hey, I'm very proud of that. You should be proud of that. Damn. More tacos. Damn. Get a, let's get a, let's compete. We didn't do too bad last time. We came in sixth place. Stop. Your pasture may be a stove top. Your dinner bed might be a snack. Right here. They won't hear me. Look at the map. I'm Going following here. you. I'm following you, bro. You okay there, Kurt? We're about to move. Karate helps relieve some of the house buying stress. Pretty sure pretty that's about owner's insurance. Okay. Skyco? Helps with homeowner's insurance? Been doing it for years. I'm calling Geico right now. Get to know Geico. How easy homeowners and renters insurance can be. Nothing says the South like He has swept the wall. Do it hot. There are over 100,000. Oh my God. Get the other house. Get the other house. 
on five she separate occasions. Okay. And she knows her stuff. Nope. If you ever followed her on nope. social media or right. piece of her cookbook, now you get you trouble. Know she's obsessed with great food. <laughs> five times. How can I not visit this place once? Step inside and eat. Yes, that's right. Chicken was punishment for a wandering husband. I don't know how much of that is true or not, but they've been doing hot chicken in Nashville for decades. And there are over 70 places serving up hot chicken in Nashville. But this, this is the spot you gotta go. The owner John told me the secret to Hattie B's chicken. First, the chicken gets its tenderness and tang from a buttermilk marinade with hot sauce, thyme, and smashed garlic. Next, a double dip in seasoned flour amps up the crispiness, and then you fry it. Sitting in front of the TV. What's this do? What? Oh, 50 more HP, Gordon? Yeah, I need that. Oh, this dude Ray is all the way up on top of that mountain, yo. That's why he, he was killing me last game because they was they was running too like they was too close to the storm, bro, and I couldn't. I wasn't trying to chance that shit. Can you turn it down? Great spice cooked for me. I will get it when I'm done. Let's go. You're looking for something blazing? Shut the clock off. That's the way to go. Hats off to you, Hattie B. Somebody's shooting, man. Come on, buddy. Go to the house. Get him, Where's he at? What? Right here. Get him. Ah. Get him. Oh, so close, fuck. Guys. So close, you got so me. This place is incredible. Why you are you he getting you? Actually, it wasn't. Mayor Richard Dudley lived here back in the 1890s. Daddy. The food is a mix of old school southern classics, given a shot of 21st Get century. Get in there. Yeah, that's right. And as Jeff I see John, it. He's covered. Uh, if it ain't from the south, okay. it ain't coming Sit to the north. Sit down. Sit down. Watch your back, Juice. Watch your back. You take pictures of your food? Yeah. I'm, I'm coming to get you. Where you at? Other side of the wall. Somebody there? I got it, yeah. Oh, I gotta get away from you. We got the mini gun. Yeah, you were the best one. The bun is the perfect amount of squishy and crispy because they steam it before they toast it. It completely smashes down the beef. It absorbs the juice. I can't give nobody health, yeah? Sweetened almost a horse. Dad, bread. you have stuff. I don't want this burger to end. No, those are your stuff. That would be the best burger I've ever had. Nashville, California, Music City.
Hey Juice, come get this. Come get this help. What's the one thing? No, go upstairs. Yeah. Up there. Go. Go up. Go in there. Go. Go. Is it still progress if it tastes great? Hold on, we'll check. <laughs> Well, it doesn't work for that. Right. Thanks in the very trendy 12 South neighborhood. Okay, don't keep me. Anymore. I mean, don't look at this. Daddy. This place is all over social media. Instagram addicts everywhere. Whoa. Big go. 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 Thanks, Gordon. Mommy call you. What? Oh, mommy, that's And the creaminess comes from the mayonnaise and the sour cream. I'm sliding on you. Be careful, little cheese. Are you guys careful? First of all, we love you. I think you need to try a French fry over there. Oh, boy. Don't threaten me with a good time. That's how you do it. Well done, sir. Fantastic. Scrapple time. Oh. I like that music. Oh, my brain. 
Come over here, Ray. Oh, he did. Traditional fried bologna sandwich. Yummy. I hope this place stays open forever. Awesome. Go in there. Go in there. How lucky are we to live in a time where social That's media can connect us to famous Whoa. chefs? Shit, you scared the shit out of me. A football. 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 A I got your back, Juice.
bag of fairy tales. You know, something gruesome and horrible and real gory. That is impressive. Kind of cute. Well, I'll give you some coffee. Yes, sir. Oh, Snow White. Yes, Snow White. I wish I had a sniper rifle. Uh, I be Snow White. I can be a princess. And the show. Oh. Damn, he got me from a fucking deep. Daddy, Daddy, why you keep dying? I don't know, baby. Stop crawling! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to get behind that tree, man. But I want to see Snow White. He's so pretty. Oh yeah, I see him. Ooh, that's a good shot. He's close. No, put that on, please. No, Cypress is not for kids. Hurry. Wait. Go, pull, go in your room. Okay. Just the way you like it. Then they trying to surround you, Juice. Oh, yeah. That's some bull, yo. Yeah. Taken out. I think you did it. <laughs> we almost got that one. Mince meat was a way of preserving food way back when. There wasn't refrigeration. You had to add a whole bunch of sugar and alcohol to make sure that the food didn't spoil on you. Mom's 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 Honeycomb, we called it poor man's bubblegum, chewing all the flavor out of the honey, and then uh, you left. More Ray. And in Israel, apple and honey is a traditional dessert. And then you drop a little bit of rosemary to kind of give it a more herbal note. I still haven't really utilized the black forest cake. I decided to take the cherries off and incorporate them into my apple saute. I can't just use the black forest cake one way. The cherries are going in the baklava filling, but it's got this great chocolate frosting. I want to make ice cream. Add in the moose milk cocktail, combine the two, straight into the ice cream machine we don't. Moose milk cocktail. It's not actual moose milk, it's a little bit of a coffee flavored liqueur. It's got obviously a cinnamon stick in there. Okay. Cross your fingers. Uh, it's bougie. The moose milk is very heavy on alcohol, lots of winter spice, and it has a little sour note to it, which will go really great in an anglaise. Come on, glaze, classical French sauce, thickened with egg yolks, milk, vanilla bean, and sugar. I'm adding triple cream breed to the some fun. 
not be sure. All the way down. What happened? They're wasting your money. Somebody killed you? Listen up, America. Millions of Americans just like you. The IRS more than 10,000 dollars in their facing leads, bankrupt, and garnishments, penalty abatements, and other IRS enforcement actions. Newly authorized business programs allow you to settle your debts for less than ever before. Do you owe the IRS ten thousand dollars or more in back taxes? If so, then call the IRS line now. Please call one hundred five eight six seven one zero three. Get your red nose and a big wig. No. Get your red nose and a big wig. Just rocking and rolling, having a blast. Dancers <laughs> that. All right, go ahead. Bye. 
For me, one of the best original ideas you know, seen in the chop kitchen here in Dessert Bar. Very, very well done. I mean, the basket of greens worked into the baklava. This was great. My mother grew up in London, and, you know, minced meat is something that is very close to my heart, and this did not disappoint me at all. It's really, really delicious. However, the ice cream is overturned. Thank you, Chef James. Finally, Chef Noah, what have you made? Uh, so today I've prepared a venison sausage fritter with a moose milk on glaze and some honey and apple uh, sauteed together with a little bit of the black forest cherry. I like the flavor balance. I like the spiciness of the sausage. I like the crispiness of the fritter. I like the sweetness from the crème glaze. And then I like that bit of acid that you get from the apples and the cherries. It's very sexy. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think you really, you made a good dessert. I'm just not 100% sure you made a good dessert representing the basket. You didn't put much of the black forest cake. You just used the cherries. I just don't feel like I got much honey. Just a little bit missing on this plate. I just very much appreciate this opportunity. Just an honor being able to meet the three of you and James over here. Yeah, so this stuff, this has been great. We're all this guy's a so friend for life. Win or lose, this has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, chefs. When I say we're gonna be friends forever, oh, I mean, yeah. uh, whatever it is, I mean, future's bright for you, my friend. Don't forget me, all right? Oh, no. I thought in the appetizer round, Noam really sort of unlocked the mystery of that basket, bringing that truffle to the foreground, and he made that nice glaze with the pieces of alligator jerky. I mean, Noam literally took an entire rack of wild boar and tried to cook the whole thing, and it resulted in the outside being well done, the inside being rare. We had some issues with the fat that James made. He should have cooked the truffles in there. It's a little flimsy in flavor. And the way James cut his meat in that first pot, it wasn't perfect either. Had he just sliced the meat really thin raw and let us go ahead and dip, you know, the raw meat into that broth to like slightly poach it, it would have been so tender and delicious. On the archery round, Noam really showed his technical skills and his restraint. The elk heart was, was spectacular. The sauce was beautiful. Then taking the bitter down lungs and throwing them straight back on the grill to pick up all the juices, just delicious. I actually really enjoyed eating the greens, which I typically don't do. 
Well, but I do have to give James a little bit of credit here on yeah. that on that main course. The concept of his dish and making the boudin was a great, great move. Creativity-wise, he nailed it. He gave us a beautiful sort of antelope tornado. He showed us how to do Paprika, just like jumping paprika. James did great throughout the competition. Get out of there, Juice. They ambushing. I'm hungry to keep pushing. I'm pushing. Uh, and the food that I put out there is going to finish first. I want to prove to Arizona that they can win the world's better place for food. And this is the biggest opportunity I've probably ever had to make my, my dreams a reality. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? Walk right into an ambush. So James, you've been trapped. Judges? James, when you cook at the highest level, it's original, it's inflation. But the first round, the fall, we That's felt that... Like I just said, what did I just say? I said I'll come in a minute. And when it came to the entree round, we put so much paprika and that were down. We couldn't take the beautiful elk cart. Those were the reasons why we had to chop you. Very understandable. Your brother from another room. You're good towards you. You deserve this, man. <laughs> Forward to eating with you soon. Absolutely. I'll see you. Take care, man. I'm buying. Oh, hell yeah, he's buying. He said winter buys dinner, and I'm not done peeking yet. This is just the beginning.